Katie Green here at Dell World. I want to show you Concept Luna. So first we've got it powered on to show you that it is a real functioning computer. It's got a touch screen. It's running Windows 11. We'll go ahead and shut it down. For safety. Uh, so if you're not familiar, Concept Luna has no screws on the exterior to get into the device. It is based off of a Latitude 7000 series feature set. So it's got webcam, Wi-Fi, USB-C, and a lock slot. We're gonna make use of that lock slot as our entry point. That amazing sound tells you that you've removed the hinge cover. Each component has a QR code and a name on it, so you would be able to scan that to get the spare parts or repair information. From there, we're just gonna slide the keyboard up a little bit and pull out the entire keyboard module. This usually wows people because if you know anything about taking keyboards apart, you've got a lot of screws, you've got a lot of wires, you can easily tell that we've reduced the cabling dramatically. Things like the speaker run through pogo pins to contact points. So instead of having that cabling, we run those pogo pins into these contact points, which run through the membrane and into the motherboard through another set of contact points. This reduction in cabling should reduce our dependency on copper and then also improve repairability. From there, the battery is easily pressed up and taken right out. And once again, you see there's no cables. We've got contact points leading into there to the underside of the motherboard. Here we have an interlocking design. So the fan interlocks to the motherboard for additional durability and stability. Make sure that it stays in place. We'll slide that fan to the side and pop that out and once again no cables you've got the usba connection and i wanted to point out each one of these has the qr code the name of the component and a small arrow to indicate which way you should push for removal from there we could take the motherboard out we're just going to slide down a little bit and with that the entire motherboard wi-fi module heat sink or piping ram hard drive and ports are all removed very simple. So this other, this last component here can pop out as well. And once those components are popped out, what you have an aluminum frame on an aluminum chassis, which makes easy recycling. If the chassis is damaged, you could put the entire aluminum chassis in the aluminum recycling bin. But we have a display left. A commonly damaged component, we want to be able to quickly replace a display, but also the display has a lot of the carbon footprint in it. So if it's not damaged, we want to preserve that, harvest that, and use it in another refurbished PC later. So we want to make sure that we can get that out without breaking it. Just a simple removal of the display cable there. And with the tool, I'm going to do a quick press on this last keystone, remove that component, and with that, you can do a little press down on the display and the entire display module comes out. So that includes your Wi-Fi there, I mean your webcam there, running through your display cable back into the board. And what is left is the chassis. Even the chassis has a display cover QR code and a name on it so that you could get spare parts in. So without talking, I'm gonna put it all back together really quickly. We'll see how fast we can Perfect. Awesome. Wonderful. Now, Katie, there's a there's a sign there that says yes. world changing ideas. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, we won an award this year on behalf of Concept Luna and our solar labs. We are the world changing idea of the year, and this also gained us the world changing company of the year award. Woohoo! Thanks so much, Katie. Appreciate your time. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you.